this year the theme is is uh, like an Americana, looking for America type theme. And so you're going to hear a lot of songs about America, of course, and, and just the fabric of what makes America great uh, and songs like that. So we're excited to be presenting such a show this summer. 26 years of long-running success of the Kentucky Opry here at the Mountain Arts Center can only be attributed to one thing. One of the biggest reasons is because uh, we have local people doing wonderful things. I mean, uh, Eastern Kentucky is so full of talent, uh, and we pride ourselves with, through the Kentucky Opry of having local artists uh, perform. And so we don't bring people from out of town and that sort of thing because everyone's right here locally, uh, Pot Floyd, Johnson, McGoffin, Martin Counties, and, and surrounding areas, uh, and they just do such an excellent job. I think that's a part of what makes the Kentucky Opry so uh, great uh, for this region. Although there have been a few minor changes to the Kentucky Opry, it's good to see that some things never change. Well, I see uh, Monroe might get to sing a song this year, I hope. Uh, I've been working on Clayton and everybody else, on Jody and James and the crew and the cast. And if I can talk Clayton into it, I'd like to sing at least one song, you know. I've, I've got several that I, I, I write songs for uh, country music star like Loretta Lynn and Travis Tritt. Patty Loveless, I've written them for them. Now they haven't sung them, but I've, I've written them for them and, and uh, sent them to them. I got their addresses. <laughs>